Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we have another tool video for you guys. Uh, something a little bit more offbeat. Uh, at a at a secondhand store, I found this this small ratchet set. It's uh, by a company called Sentry, and the set is number four four two one, and it comes in this metal box and it's colored blue I guess uh, it was originally blue hopefully uh, the paint seems to be coming off in spots well pretty much all over and uh, there's some rusting on the box which uh, I guess is to be expected but uh, before we get into it uh, if you find these videos interesting or helpful could you give me a like and consider subscribing to this channel okay here's the inside of the set uh, let me move a little bit closer here here's the paper information that has like a sticker inside the the lid most of it is like messed up I can't make out most of it but I can make out a century professional quality number 4421 and it says 21 piece 3 eighths and 1 quarter drive socket wrench set hardened and tempered alloy steel uh, brightly chrome plated and from the pictures of the cars I would say that this is probably from the 60s because the car looks kind of ancient so maybe 60s 70s and it has a picture of a boat, a scooter, and a tractor. And down here you can barely make it out. It says made in Japan. And I, I, I kind of got this because it was Japanese. Uh, I try to do stuff. I try to get tools that are made in Japan. Uh, more, more so than I would if they were made in China or Taiwan. Because uh, I just think that made in Japan is probably a little bit better quality it doesn't always turn out that way but uh, I think that some some tools that were made in Japan were pretty pretty decent okay this set this isn't metric this is an S a standard set uh, this particular socket is 11 16 it says sentry on it you can see it there, Sentry Forged, and they say it says Japan. And they all pretty much say the same thing. This is the, th the three quarter ratchet. I think it's a 12 point Sentry Forged, Japan. And then as they get smaller, they, they become six point. This is the 916, also Sentry Forged, Japan. This is what they look like. The female sections are pretty, pretty squared off pretty sharply. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This one you can see, I don't know, this was probably kept in a basement or a garage probably since the 70s. So you can see all the, the oxidation, the rust in it. And here's the three quarters to one quarter adapter. You can see the, the male quarter. It's pretty sharp, it's pretty squared, not too much chamfering. There's a little bit of chamfering on the sides, but it looks pretty, the edges look pretty sharp on it. Oh boy, get it to focus there. And they're chromed. See, they have like little tiny dimples inside the female section. And then we get into the smaller quarter inch sockets. You can see they're still pretty square there. Kind of flat, not much chamfering. See if you can get focus there, see. 
just flat here and not no chamfering on the sides here of the entrance and here's uh, the quarter inch side these don't say uh, I guess the small ones don't have sentry on them but they do say Japan and the size and you can tell here the chrome is starting to come off and it's starting to rust some uh, here's a big big socket for spark plugs I think this one came with the set uh, this one has a little bit of chamfering here see did this one have yeah this one did have a little bit too over here and these one had a little bit too up here and these small ones were just flat uh, I can't make it says made in I'm gonna say that's Japan. I can't make it out. It's uh the sticker is uh the sticker is deteriorated here. But I'll say it's Japan. And here are the extensions. This one says Century Japan. It's a three eighths extension. Again, pretty square. Just a little bit of chamfering on the sides. And here's the ball detent. Looks pretty well centered. And here is the female three eighths. See, it's starting to deteriorate, deteriorate a little bit in there. The chrome. And here's the longer extension. Again, the ball, not too bad. Not too badly well centered. Pretty well centered. Here's the inside of this. I don't see any dimples inside here on the sides. The only dimple is this hole that goes through this one also says Century Japan and we have this this screwdriver not screwdriver but uh, the socket driver this one doesn't say Century on it it says Japan I think let me see yeah just Japan and the spinner it says rated 5000 volts insulated hmm, I guess this is uh, insulated seems okay the shaft doesn't go beyond this little section here it doesn't go in too deep but I guess we're not gonna put too much torque on this and here's the ball detent looks like the others you see the chrome here it's not well polished like it is polished but you can see underneath there's still a lot of striation from uh, from the manufacturing looks like it wasn't uh, flattened very well before they put the polish on And and here finally is the ratchet. Not not a bad job on this handle. It has pretty neat, pretty nice knurling, and it's pretty thick here, and it tapers down to a thinner beam, which which I like. Uh, if you see a lot of cheaper ratchets, it's 
there's not much there's not much difference in the beam in the grip it's just pretty straight and this one has a good bump here a good thickness and as you can see the the knurling is pretty pretty decent pretty nicely done that's the end and underneath it says Century Japan and if you can make it out right there it says it has the letters H and the number is 67 I don't know if that's the year or the model or what the deal is with those letters and numbers but you can barely see them there and this is held together by the snap ring the coil ring and you can see it's well it's well rusted and I took it off already just to save time and here's a look at the head it looks there's some rusting here it looks pretty well centered pretty not a bad job at uh, approaching this part there is a lip cut out here and there are 41 teeth and this looks like it hasn't got much use because the teeth look pristine on it uh, the, they, they did a pretty good job on these teeth they look pretty sharp pretty well done all around here's the mechanism uh, this is where it, f it kinda it kind of gets not too great. Uh, it's a usual SK type of mechanism. Uh, the paw, the teetering paw. This one has uh, three teeth per side. Here's the ball detent. Looks like the other ball detents. Mm, not too bad. Here you can see the chrome flaking away. And uh, this paw looks a little small. I don't know. To me, it looks a little bit small for three eighths. But mm, I mean, it looks just barely like an appropriate size. Kind of small. Okay, to take this apart. What I do is I press down on the paw here, which is sticking up, and I get a magnet, and I pull up a little bit, enough to where I can get a nail underneath, and then I pull, pull up on the switch and cover the holes so the plunger won't shoot out. Okay. Here's the plunger, there's a spring. It's a bullet shaped plunger, it has a spring inside of it. So it's hollow at the bottom. Here's the switch. Interesting part of this switch is uh, it doesn't go all the way through, it's just a hole there, and the, the spring and plunger sits in it. But it has kind of a protrusion. It has a protrusion here similar to the right ratchet which I guess limits the travel you can only put it in one way and it limits the travel from side to side on the ratchet that way you can't rotate it all the way around it limits the travel I thought that was interesting that it would have that protrusion there it, almost exactly like a right here you have the pin for the paw. It's pretty thin. It's a pretty thin pin for a 3 eighths ratchet. And here is the paw. Like I said, it's kind of small. It does have chamfering on the holes. And it has three teeth on each side and this is what it looks like underneath
Okay, here's the me here's the housing for the mechanism. It's not too bad. It it looks pretty decent. Pretty decent. They did make a cut in there. You see that there's a little lip there, and that's so the switch. Just so that little cut in the protrusion of the switch will fit and let this protrusion go over you like that if you would have put it in upside down it wouldn't fit see how it's not fitting so you have to get it in the right range and then it snaps in <sighs> okay put this back together you take your plunger and your spring you drop your plunger in the hole plunger and spring in the hole in the switch and then you take your pole you put it in your mechanism housing You line up the hole and you put it back in like that. You take your switch, you put it with the plunger against the housing like that. And then you take a pick or something and you press down. And then you press in the switch. You make sure it's switching. Yep, it's switching. You take it, you drop it in the mechanism into the housing, and you get your ring. Okay, you get your ring, you open it up, and you get it around the lip there of. The, the the ring you get it in the lip there of the ring make sure it snaps in and it's ratcheting and then you see if it's switching yep it's switching okay that's my tear down and review of this little set of uh, Japanese made sentry set it's the 4421 set and you might see these laying around maybe at garage sales or whatever I don't know the quality seems okay maybe a little bit better than like made in Taiwan those those kind of inexpensive made in Taiwan style ratchets the sockets seem okay the extensions seem okay uh, the ratchet seems okay. I like the way they did uh, the knurling, the handle, and the head. They broached it pretty good. It's just that I think the mechanism of a 3 8 probably could do better with a, a larger, more substantial pole than this one. But all in all, mm, not too bad. Okay, guys, until next time.